We need an independent environmental protection agency because we need legislation, we need protection, we need accountability and enforcement. I think that's really important. Say it up, nay. Give us an EPA. Say it up, nay. Give us an EPA. Polluters are getting away with unspeakable crimes against wildlife, nature and the environment and we need polluters to be held accountable. Around Loch Ness, there's been countless environmental crimes that have gone unpunished and that is why we need an independent agency which can enforce these protections and stop agriculture from dominating. I'm standing here in the townland of Balinese. This is where I grew up. Uh, I played here as a child. I grew up in the countryside, I live in the countryside, I really value what it's like to live around trees and open spaces. Well, it's very different. Uh, this bog was a bog, it's now a, a desert. There's a company here called Bullrush who are using it, making loads of money. They're a horticultural company apparently but they seem to be just destroying the bog. And they're, removing, they're removing the peat and they're making the peat into compost. We need an independent environmental protection agency to protect these beautiful, beautiful places so that my grandchildren and f future generations can enjoy. I'm standing here outside the offices of the Northern Ireland Environment Agency. This is the government agency with responsibility for protecting our built heritage, our natural heritage, protecting people's health, but also ecosystems and what we call ecological health. The reason why we need a new independent environmental protection agency is not because of the people who are working in here. They're trying their best within a broken system. This agency was set up within the Department of Agriculture and Environment and Rural Affairs to fail. This agency, like many agencies across the world, merely regulates the rate of environmental destruction. It doesn't stop it. This has led not only to the demise of every river and poor soil conditions, but also really, really poor public health. And the phosphorus coming from intensive factory farms is destroying Loch Ness. These people have failed, not because of the individuals there, but because it was designed to fail.